Hello my friends, my name is Janet Garcia from EmpowerToChange.com and what I'm going to show you here is how to create your profile banner. There are many different programs that you can use online that are free and will do the trick for you but the drawback is that you have to give them access to your Facebook account and uh, I don't know you but I don't I, I'm very careful as to what application I, I'm giving you know permission to access my account okay uh, besides they will place their logo on your image and if you're trying to give a professional impression right you're doing business online it wouldn't look too good to have uh, a logo of another company embedded on your banner if it's just for personal use then there's no problem but again just be careful because you're giving access to your account and they can pull any of your private information from there so let's go uh, to Pixelar. I'm going to use Pixelar. Uh, this is the address, pixelar.com slash editor. And that will bring you this uh, window. So we're going to create a new image. I'm going to click here. And for the size that I'm going to use for the banner is 491 pixels wide by 68 pixels height on the height okay and uh, I'm gonna click OK and here is the template that we're gonna use for the banner where you're gonna place all your image you're gonna create whatever image that you want so since pixel art doesn't have any ruler like in Photoshop that you can drag a ruler um, and that will make everything easier because if you see here on Facebook there's a gap between images but the ones at the corner the gap is smaller than the ones in the middle okay and that's gonna make a difference when when you're placing the items on your banner because you always want to try not to cut images for example if it's a face you you don't want to have this seam right on the face so we need to create like a template that you can use to guide yourself as, as not to place things in between the gaps okay as much as possible so for that since we don't have a ruler we're going to use the marquee tool as a guide and each square has the size of 97 pixels wide okay if you don't see this toolbar here is because it's off you can go to view and click tool options and it will turn on okay so to have our marquee or our selection constrained to the specific proportion that we need we're going to select from here constraint to fixed size now we're going to enter the dimension of each little picture which is going to be 97 for the width and the height stays the same so now what we're going to do we're going to click on the corner and you see that it plays the marquee now what we're going to do I'm going to create since I'm working on the background and, and the background is uh, an entire piece I cannot move it around so what I'm going to do I'm going to create a new layer by clicking this icon here and now I'm going to fill this with a color and for that I'm going to double click here to set the main color let's get uh, this pink and then move the saturation all the way to the right and click OK now to fill this I'm going to select the paint bucket tool and then I'm going to click inside the marquee now I can deselect the image you can hit Control D or you can go to edit deselect all and now nothing is selected now since I have it on a layer I can make duplicates for the other four five pieces that I need but first I'm gonna select the 
move tool. Now, to duplicate a layer, you can go to the Layers menu and select Duplicate Layer, or you can just click and drag this layer into the, the icon for the new layer, and it's going to duplicate it. Now I have another copy. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this copy to the right. I can click anywhere because she's going to grab whatever is on the layer. You don't have to place the cursor right on top of the image. I can place it anywhere. And I'm going to move it to the right, like this. Now I'm going to make another copy of this one again, the one on the top. And I'm going to drag it again to the new layer. And it created a, a duplicate that is on top. And I'm going to move it again to the side. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing again. And I'm going to move it to the side. Don't worry about the spacing because we're going to fix that now. And one more time. And move it to the side. Now this one needs to align with the corner. Okay. Now notice that I don't have any gap right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go backwards one layer at a time. And with the arrow tools, I'm going to move it to the left. And I have a little gap. That's one pixel wide. Then I'm going to click on the other one below. And I move it, I'm going to move it to the right again. Then I'm going to click on the other one. And I'm going to move it to the right. I mean to the left again. So now you see that I have a wider space here than on the corners, just as our image on Facebook. We have little gap here and it's bigger in the in the center. Now you can save this as a template. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna merge all this into one image and we're gonna send it to the background. Okay, and for that we're going to go to the Layers panel and we're going to select Flatten the image and everything will be in just uh, one image as the background. If, if you choose Merge Down, it's going to merge the selected layer with the one below, but we want them all in one piece. Now you can save this image because you can use it now as your template. So now that we have the image flattened, what we're going to do, I'm going to open another image that I already have. A banner that I created for a friend. And it's already flattened. You can create your banner at this, the same size and then bring it into this template. That would be the best way to go. Create a banner. Don't worry about what the seams are. Uh, unless there is something that you don't want to cut out, then you will just do it on top of of the uh, you know of the background image so what I'm going to do I'm going to drag this banner and uh, I'm going to position right there okay now I have the the background and this is the image of my friend If you don't know how to do this that I'm doing right now, you can see uh, uh, my previous tutorial in which I explain all, what all these panels are and how to work with them. They're on, on my website. So now that we have the banner, let's say that you design it here and, and you have everything placed uh, so that nothing gets cut up, you know, uh, cutting his face, for example. And now you're ready to make the pieces. What you're going to do, you're going to select the marquee tool at the right size, which is 97 by 68. And you're going to click on the corner. And that's going to make the first square. Since the image is flattened, we can make now a copy of this square. So we're going to go to Edit, Copy, and now it's being copied to the clipboard. Now I'm going to choose File, New Image, and notice that she knows that I have something on the clipboard. 
and the dimension of the selection. And you can create an image from the clipboard. That way you don't have to paste it. It's already there. Okay, now that we have the first copy, we're going to go now to the other section, the next one. Before we do that, I'm going to unlock the pink layer, the one that has all the, the slices by double clicking here and it converts it to, to a layer and I'm going to move it on top okay and that's so that I can see the the little squares now with the marquee tool still selected I'm going to move this selection and position it right on top of the other pink square and now that we have uh, our pink image on the top and we position the marquee we're going to turn off this layer, the visibility, and make sure that you click on the layer with your banner because that's the layer from where you want to copy from. For some reason, if I click here, even the visibility is off, this program is going to copy the pink image instead. And it shouldn't. It shouldn't work that way. So what you have to do is click on your image now and then edit copy file new image create image from clipboard and click OK. Now we have the second image. Okay, that's the second image. Now we're gonna do the same with the other one. Let's click on the file again to activate it. Let's make this one visible and you can leave this one selected. And now let's move this selection and position it on top of the other square. Turn visibility off, make sure that the banner is selected and repeat the process. Edit, copy, file, new image from clipboard click OK. And this is the third one. Okay. Repeat the process. Click on this image. Move the marquee into position. Turn it off. Make sure you still have the banner selected. Edit, copy, file, new image, create image from clipboard. And there is the other image. I am putting this on, in order on purpose. I don't know, you're going to see why. And let's go to the last image that we need. Okay. Edit, copy, file, new image from clipboard, and OK. Okay. Now we have all five images. Now you need to save them. And the way you're going to save them, you can save them as JPGs, JPEGs. Is This is going to be number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. And to save them, you click on the file, file, save, give it a name, and let's say, Facebook banner number one. I'm going to leave it as the highest resolution because it's a small picture, so it doesn't matter. And click OK. And I'm going to save it here. Number one. Then I go to number two. File. Save. With the same name so that I, you don't get confused. 100%. OK save. You can close them, that way you don't get confused. Let's go to the third, save. Okay. The fourth one, file, save.
and the last one file save okay now now that we have all the pictures now what you're gonna do is you go here to your profile and you're gonna upload here the photo one by one but it is very important that you upload you upload them backwards you're gonna start with the fifth one then you go to the fourth one then the third the second and the first one and the reason is that every time you upload a graphic is going to go into position one when you upload the next one this one is going to move to the right and the new one is going to be placed here and they're going to be pushed down to the right okay so in order to have them in the right order and you want this one which is the fifth you got to start importing this one first and then this one and then this one so that they get pushed to the right but the, once you upload the photo you have to tag yourself okay I'm not gonna go into tagging right now because I don't wanna mess up this uh, banner that I have here um, but uh, you know I'm sure you know how to tag you get a, a photo let's go to the photos let me take any photo uh, let's say I, I uploaded this photo and uh, you click and tag this photo okay and uh, then you click on the image and, and, and select yourself okay and once you tag it it's gonna stay up here okay you have to tag yourself if not it's not gonna appear don't import them all at once one two three four five and then start tagging because then is they're not going to be placed in the right order you have to import one and tag it import the next one and tag it import the next one and tag it okay and that's all there is to it what i'm going to do oh let me show you uh, my friend has the the banner already and here is the banner already imported you see this is image number five number four number three number two and number one okay and that's all there is to it i'm gonna give you this file it won't have uh, obviously the banner so i'm gonna give you this file so that you can use it as a template you can find that on my website and you can just download it okay you can start using your banners thank you very much this is Janet Garcia have a wonderful day